Have you ever had a cheese-filled pastry before? I bet you have, but perhaps not the likes of what I will show you today. I will make my Balkan savory pastry called Sirnica. You could say it, it's a cottage cheese filled flaky pie. At my home we've been calling this cheese Burek, but that name is often controversial, so let's stick to Sirnica for now. First, we need to prepare the filling. To a bowl, add the cottage cheese and with a fork mash it into small pieces. Now crumble in your feta cheese and mix them well together. To the two cheeses add around 3 tablespoons of sour cream and mix it well so you get a smooth filling. If you notice that the mixture is still too stiff and crumbly, add in another tablespoon of sour cream. This endeavor might be a bit tricky. We need to mix together 500 ml of sparkly water, 100 ml of vegetable oil and 1 teaspoon of salt. I have already added the salt to the sparkly water so it would dissolve easily and over time. Now pour in your oil and mix as best as you can. Don't worry if it splits. Each time before you'll knead it, just mix it up together. Now take your filo dough and separate it into individual sheets. I got mine in a local supermarket. Since making it this well as this one, it's quite tricky. Make sure to save two sheets for the very end and set them aside. The rest we will wrap up in a damp cloth so they don't dry up while we assemble everything. With a pastry brush, grease up your cake pan well. On the bottom, the sides and all over it. It needs to be well greased. Preheat your oven to 210 degrees Celsius. Now let's assemble everything. Take one filo dough pastry sheet and place it into your pan. Let the dough hang over the edges. Now take another pastry sheet, turn it for 90 degrees and place it in the pan. Take your liquid mixture, mix it and spoon over 2 to 3 tablespoons to moisten the pastry. Spoon in cheese mixture one tablespoon at a time, starting at the middle and spread another four tablespoons around it. Cover everything with a filo pastry layer and press it down gently. Spoon over another two to three tablespoons of liquid mixture and you can swirl the pan around a little bit to get it into all the corners. Spoon in another 4 tablespoons of cheese filling, place them in the empty spaces. Cover again with the sheet of filo pastry and tuck it in nicely. Now again, 2-3 to three tablespoons of the liquid mixture And now place the cheese mixture right up into the corners. Around 4 tablespoons distributed should suffice. Cover everything with another 2 sheets of filo pastry, a layer at a time, and tuck them into the corners well. Start folding the overhanging pastry inwards going clockwise. Press down on the pastry gently. Now cover everything with 2-3 to three tablespoons of the liquid mixture. Press down a bit and let's repeat the process one more time until you use up all your cheese mixture and the filo pastry.
Right before we put everything into the oven, make sure you take a wooden skewer and pierce on a few places. This will help the steam to escape while it bakes. Place your sirnica into the oven and bake it for approximately 40 minutes on conventional heating settings. After it's done baking, leave it for about 5 minutes to cool a little. Remove it from the cake pan gently, so you don't break it apart. Cut it into 4 quarters and serve. I usually enjoy mine with plain yogurt, either with a spoon or just bite into it as a whole. It's a great snack or a whole meal. Sirnica will stay fresh up to two days in the fridge. You can eat it either hot or cold. I do hope you make sirnica at home. And do comment down below if you like it too. If you wish to see more of the recipes from my kitchen, press that like button and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye!